Uh, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As the Dean of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities of General Surgeon Kotalawala Defense University, I am glad to deliver the welcome address on this important occasion of inaugurating the second certificate course in nonviolent communication and media offered by the Department of Social Sciences of my faculty at KD. Let me first very warmly welcome our chief guest this morning, none other than our Vice Chancellor, Major General Melinda Pires, who is gracing this occasion on our invitation despite all his heavy commitments. Sir, your presence and address this morning will surely be a great inspiration for the participants, resource persons, as well as organizers of this program alike to do their best during the course. This study program is a continuation of the project on nonviolent communication and responsible use of media uh, initiated by the Social Sciences Department and particularly by Mr. Nuan Herat, the head of the Department of Social Sciences. And ably assisted by Dr. Hemanta Premratna as the program coordinator. The program would not have been there if it was not for the generous fund availed by the UNDP. So I'm glad to have with us today, Dr. Priyan Senemiratna of UNDP Colombo, who has been helping us right from the beginning of this project. And also I welcome all other representatives of UNDP present with us today. The Department of Social Sciences also received much assistance from expert, experts from UNESCO, especially during the preparation of the course curriculum. And we are glad to have with us today, Ms. Himali Jinadasa, the country focal point for New Delhi office and the Sri Lanka National Commission for UNESCO. So I warmly welcome Ms. Himali Jinadasa for this inaugural moment. I would like to mention that without the tremendous support from the Deputy Vice Chancellor Defense and Administration and De De uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, the whole project would not have been a success. Deputy Vice Chancellor Defense and Administration Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri has been right behind the project right throughout, giving us all the administrative support needed. Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Sanat Dammika, extended his fullest cooperation needed at all times. So I very warmly welcome the two Deputy Vice Chancellors who are here with us today, despite their commitment. And gentlemen, one of the crucial factors for the success of the first certificate course was the great contribution received from the panel uh, of uh, resource persons and experts in the field of, in the field, who did their utmost best to make the course a highly effective one. So let me welcome all the resource persons, including Ms. Ramanusha Pubalaratnam, Vimarshana Ranasingha, Dr. Achala Abekun, Mr. Indika Pereira, and all our dedicated internal resource persons, like Dr. Lakshikali Enegi, Major Vimansha Abeyavikrama, Dr. Harinda Lienage, uh, sorry, Dr. Harinda Vidana Gamagi, and Ms. Vasuki Jayasingha, et cetera. I also welcome the senior professors, academics, senior tri service officers, administrative officers of KDU, participating on this important occasion. I also welcome uh, all the other distinguished invitees who are present with us today. Finally, yet most importantly, I would like to warmly welcome the 60 course participants selected out of more than 1,000 applicants. I welcome you all 
to the study program as well as to the General Surgeon Kotlavala Defense University, KDU. Ladies and gentlemen, we all are aware that we are passing through a very critical period of time in Sri Lanka. And I believe that this is a time in which we see the importance and significance of nonviolent communication and responsible use of media more than ever before. So my earnest request from all participants representing media, universities, tri services, KDU, police, etc., to gain the important knowledge imparted in this program, uh, program of study, and to propagate and spread the knowledge and practice among others, your colleagues, your friends, your co-workers, and even your loved ones, so that you could meaningfully contribute to create a sound and peaceful environment for us and our future generations to live in peace and harmony as human beings. I wish that this course would be a great success and I wish that the organizers in the social sciences department would be able to do their maximum for the success of the program. And once again, thanking everyone for, uh, for being here uh, present uh, at this occasion, inaugural occasion. Uh, I wish you all the very best and thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your kind and encouraging words. As uh, you, you're all likely already aware, we offered this course during its in year of initiation in 2021. But you will witness now our reflections from past students regarding the course in nonviolent communication and media. But the students of the certificate course in nonviolent communication and responsible use of media have to say about the course. Additionally, there was an interesting webinar on how to be advocates for social issues from both a legal and political standpoint, which I found very beneficial for me personally. Um, and also, I think this course paved the way for a lot of my peers and even myself to think more in depth about the underlying social issues of our society. The course is one of the most important courses I have ever studied. Throughout this course, I have learned to build up effective and suitable interpersonal relationship with others as a police officer and as your special work. I have to maintain relationship with the public and my fellow officers. Therefore, this course gave me a great opportunity to learn about nonviolence communication. And I would like to pay my heartiest gratitude to KDU for giving me this valuable opportunity. Thank you. With the increase of digitalization and active engagement on social media platforms, there is an increase of hate being disseminated online. This course has given me the ability to approach such hate, critical thinking, and empathy. Ladies and gentlemen, the chief guest of today's occasion is Major General Melinda Pires the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John Kapilavlu Defense University, who has guided us every step of the way and with his guidance of the university's colors fly high. May I now have the honor of inviting our Vice Chancellor to address the gathering. Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Professor Sanat Damika, Ms. Himali Jinadasa, 
country focal point for sri lanka unesco trust office for bangladesh bhutan india maldives nepal and sri lanka all distinguished research persons of the course dean faculty of management social sciences and humanities mr kittiri amartunga head of department of social sciences mr noan hera deans directors senior professors head of departments senior military officers post coordinator dr samara jayasundara members of the academic and non academic staff students ladies and gentlemen good morning it is a great pleasure for me to address you at this inaugural session of the second certificate course on non violent communication and media organized by the department of social sciences of the faculty of management social sciences and humanities kdu <clears throat> this university is delighted to have received the support of the united nations development program in partnership with the european union service for foreign policy instruments to initiate and continue this project to teach non violent communication and ethical and responsible use of media <coughs> with this generous grant from undp and eu kdu was kdu has executed four main project activities firstly we have conducted a series of workshops on non violent communication and the responsible use of media for participants representing different sectors in society such as educators military and police officers university undergraduates and young journalists secondly soon we will be establishing a center with digital infrastructure for media studies at kd this will be a home for the undergraduates of kdu to gain knowledge on media production peace media and responsible use of media thirdly we have produced a student led short film titled the circus that focuses on the theme of non violence while delivering a message on the importance of responsible use of media this short film is the first of its kind to be organized and produced in sri lanka for the emphasizing its value finally we have developed a comprehensive academic program on non violent communication and media it is the inauguration of this certificate course that we have the pleasure of witnessing today this course was initiated in 2021 and upon its successful completion is being held for a second time of this year i am pleased to announce that we received over 1000 applications from variety of fields including but not limited to media and journalism news production law enforcement the military medicine engineering banking and undergraduate and students from a variety of disciplines signifying the interest and the value of providing this course ladies and gentlemen as this project title suggests the certificate program goal is to increase sri lankan's awareness of non violence peace and media usage best practices as sri lanka's national defense university we firmly believe that the social harmony and peace are the cornerstones of both development and national security we are acutely aware of the suffering and the sacrifices that lack of peace causes as we served in the military that fought a civil war for the three decades this solidifies our belief in the need for peace and harmony this project the, the the project's long term advantages will undoubtedly help us accomplish the goal this course will educate its students on preventing hate speech and promoting social cohesion it intends to educate the target population about non violent communication approaches that compromise promoting compensation compassion love and 
health values at personal and interpersonal level secondly it involves promoting ethical and responsible use of media coming to the matter at hand today i am pleased to have a well qualified panel of lecturers for this certificate course as we have done previously also i am confident that they will present our students with the knowledge and guidance needed to practice nonviolent communication and responsible use of media the course will teach you authentic and deep communication skills increased understanding and conflict resolution we are also grateful to be able to offer this course free of charge making much needed knowledge and training accessible to all regardless of financial capacity i would also like to express my admiration for such a timely and useful initiative being undertaken i appreciate the efforts of the staff of department of social sciences and the faculty and wish them all success in course as well as in all future activities being planned under this project before i conclude let me express my sincere gratitude to the undp and eu for the trust they had in awarding this valuable grant to kdu i would also like to recognize the support and the guidance given by the unesco new delhi cluster office to develop a comprehensive curriculum for this certificate course i hope this will open doors to further collaboration and stronger relationship between undp unesco the eu and kdu i also thank the course coordinator dr samara jasundar for all her efforts towards making this course a reality i am aware i am very happy to see the successful completion of the previous course conducted amidst the pandemic in 2021 and i pledge you my continued support to make this course equally successful finally i congratulate the students selected for this important course and advise you to make this the best use of this opportunity especially at this critical moment of our country and you must realize the value of this course and especially the ill effects of the hate speech and improper use of media on social media i also welcome the eminent panel of resource persons and look forward to working closely with you all i wish you all the very best may you all be able to use the skills and knowledge you gain from this course to better your own lives as well as the society around you thank you thank you sir for your inspiring words and your well wishes We also have joined with us today Ms. Himali Jinadas of the Country Focal Point for Sri Lanka at the UNESCO Cluster Office for Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal and Sri Lanka without whose support this course would not have been a possibility. Ms. Jinadas, I wish to now invite you to address the gathering. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Vice Chancellor of the Patanjali Defence University, Melinda Here is Deputy Vice Chancellor Defence Administration Brigadier Vipula Chandra Siri, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Professor Sanat Tamika, Resource Persons and Lecture Panel of the Course, Dean of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, Mr. Kisuri Amrutunga, Dean Director, Senior Professors, Heads of Department, Senior Military Officers. Head of the Department of Social Sciences, Mr. Nuan Hera, Course Coordinator, Dr. Tamara Jai Sundara, members of the academic staff and non-academic staff, and students taking part in the certificate course, and other distinguished guests. First of all, I would like to thank you all for inviting me for this special occasion. I am honored to be here. On behalf of UNESCO, I would like to extend my warm congratulations to KDU. 
on their project to promote non-violent communication and the responsible use of media in Sri Lanka. UNESCO is glad to have been part of this important work and to have contributed to the development of a comprehensive university program that touches on key themes such as promoting media and information literacy and intercultural dialogue. The KDU has been collaborating with UNESCO in 2020 and 2021. UNESCO's communication and information sector colleagues from headquarters provided technical guidance to KDU to develop the Media Literacy Related Certificate course. We coordinated this work from New Delhi as the approach linked to strengthening peace and cohesion, social cohesion in Sri Lanka. The Nonviolent Communication and Media Project at KDU has now become a successful initiative where they have achieved numerous milestones by the end of the last year. There have been a number of workshops on nonviolent communication and responsible media usage for participants from a variety of societal sectors, including educators, military and law enforcement personnel, university graduates, and young journalists. As a country focal point, it is a pleasure to acknowledge that KDU has been able to contribute to one of the main areas which UNESCO focuses on. UNESCO is a UN specialized agency building peace in the minds of people through education the sciences, culture, communication, and information. Our mission is to foster intercultural dialogue and sustainable development by promoting the free flow of ideas. Establishing a culture of peace and sustainable development are at the heart of UNESCO's mandate. Training and research in sustainable development are among the priorities, as well as human rights education, skills for peaceful relations, good governance, the prevention of conflict and peace building, and also encouraging media development. In the field of communication and information, UNESCO defends and promotes freedom of expression, media independence and pluralism, and the building of inclusive knowledge societies underpinned by universal access to information and the innovative use of digital technology. It is commendable to know that the KDU has been able to set up a center with digital infrastructure to learn about media creation, peaceful media, and responsible media usage that could help numerous undergraduates to gain sufficient knowledge on the idea of nonviolent communication and media. This is what UNESCO aims for, to improve media literacy in the contemporary world and to mobilize the international community to support media in developing countries through a grant-making process. Supporting journalism education is an important part of developing a free and independent media. And UNESCO promotes excellence in journalism schools worldwide and innovative curricula in order to assist the develop teaching of new subject areas and literacy for journalists. Recently, the regional World Press Freedom Day was held in Sri Lanka, a regional celebration jointly organized by the UNESCO New Delhi office and the delegation of the European Union to Sri Lanka and Maldives and was organized with this year's global theme for the celebration of journalism under digital siege. This was discussed and analyzed in a wider spectrum about the importance of journalism and how to improve conflict sensitive reporting and safety of journalists in South Asia. It is vital to know that the safety of journalists should be a topic which must be included in an academic curriculum on media and nonviolent communication. Content uh, regarding um, listen, content regarding the safety of journalists will be an essential subject area which can be spoken about within this certificate course, which is being offered by the university as it is a never-ending contemporary topic that can be spoken about even in the future. In the global context, UNESCO has achieved in supporting 147 new media development projects in close to 80 countries for a total amount of USD 4.1 million between 2018 and 2019, mobilizing thousands of public, private, and community radio stations to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 by broadcasting awareness-raising messages in more than 40 languages to promote healthy behaviors and debunk rumors about the virus. 
supporting more than 30 media organizations to strengthen editorial policies on youth and gender equality in media and providing training to enhance gender equality in media to more than 90 media institutions. Therefore, UNESCO has always aimed to support policies and law reforms to foster media pluralism and independence, thereby contributing to upholding the concept of information as a common good, build the media's capacities to ensure professional and ethical focus on any other central needs towards media and nonviolent communication using UNESCO policy assessment framework. Finally, uh, to conclude, I, I would like to give my sincere regards and appreciation to the KDU in promoting this certificate course to individuals from all over the country and providing them knowledge about me media responsibility. I hope that all participants come away with the skills and competencies that allow and encourage them to use media and communication as tools that connect and unite us and in turn build compassion and cohesion. At a time of divisive communications around the world, strengthening these skills is more topical than ever. I would gladly assure you that UNESCO will be there to support these educa educative initiatives for the welfare of Sri Lanka. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nagasu, and thank you for all the supporting us. I would like to humbly invite Dr. Pamela Jaisinder, the course coordinator and senior lecturer of the Department of Social Sciences, to provide us all with an introduction to the certificate course in nonviolent communication and media. Good morning. Good morning, Vice Chancellor, Major General Melinda Pires, Technical Specialist, Reconciliation and Peace Building, UNDP Colombo Office, Dr. Priyan Seneviratna. Country focal point for Sri Lanka at the UNESCO Cluster Office for Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, Ms. Himali Jinadasan. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, Professor Sanat Damika. Dean of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, Mr. Kitsiri Amaratunga. Deans and Directors, Heads of Departments, Distinguished Panel of Lecturers of the Certificate Course, academic and non-academic staff, and most of all, my dear students. I would also like to welcome you all today to this inaugural session of the certificate course in nonviolent communication and media. My dear students, I would like to take a few minutes to uh, go over some details about the program with you. First of all, I want to mention there were many applicants for this program and the selection process was a difficult one from about uh, 1,017 applicants who applied for the program, only 60 were selected. Thus, you are among the fortunate few who have been selected to follow the second certificate course in nonviolent communication and media. In addition, thanks to a generous grant from the UNDP, you have the opportunity to attend the program free of charge. This is not an offer we can make to the forthcoming batches, which is why I ask that you make the most of this valuable program. A lot of thought went into developing the curriculum for this certificate course. In addition to the panel of lecturers that you will be meeting over the course of this program, the Dean of our faculty, as well as both local and international experts have contributed to its development. Among the many who contributed, I would like to highlight Dr. Priyan Senivratna of the UNDP Colombo office, as well as Ms. Himali Jinadasa, Ms. Maya Leitinen and her team, of media and information literacy experts from the UNESCO New Delhi Cluster Office and other offices around the world. 
I would now like to go over a few brief out, uh, details outlining the course. It is broken down into two modules. The first six weeks will cover module one. That will teach you strategies of nonviolent communication, followed by an assessment in the seventh week. That will be on the 1st of October. I'm informing you ahead of time so you can keep that date free. Module two will go on for another six weeks from week eight to uh, week 13. In those six weeks, you will learn about media and information literacy and the responsible use of media. The final assessment is scheduled for the 19th of November. And throughout the course, you will work on an exhibit that you will be able to showcase at the end of the program as we plan to hold an exhibition along with the certificate awarding ceremony in December. Let me now introduce you to the distinguished panel of lecturers who will be teaching these two modules. First, you will meet with uh, Ms. Ramanu Shapupalaratnam. She is the only certified trainer in nonviolent communication in Sri Lanka. She holds a bachelor's degree from University of Kalania, among other professional qualifications. You will meet her in the first, second, and sixth weeks. Uh, there is Ms. Vimarshana Ranasingha. She is a fa facilitator of peace building and nonviolent communication. She holds a bachelor's degree from Kalania. Also, she's currently working for her master's at uh, East Mennonite University in USA. You will get to meet her on the third and fourth weeks. Then uh, our head of the Department of Social Sciences, Mr. Nuan Hera. He holds a master's degree from Notre Dame University in USA and also from uh, Trebuan University in Nepal and a bachelor's degree from Kalania University. And you will get to meet him in the fifth week. Then again, our head of the Department of Languages, Major Vimansha Abhayvikrama. He holds a master's degree from University of Warwick in UK, master's degree from University of Kalania, and a bachelor's degree from University of Sri Javarthanapura, among other many uh, qualifications he has. So you will get to meet him uh, in the second module, that will be the eighth week. And uh, Ms. Vasuki Jayasinghe, she is a senior lecturer at the Department of Languages, also at KDU. She holds a master's degree from University of uh, Tribuan, Nepal, and a master's degree from University of Kalania, and a bachelor's degree also from University of Kalania. Uh, you will got, get to meet her on the 9th and 13th, we 13th weeks. Dr. Achala Abekon, she's a she senior lecturer from Department of Mass Communication from the University of Kalania. She holds a PhD in communication studies from Deakin University, Australia, master's degree from development communication and extension from University of Peradeniya, and a bachelor's in communication from Eastern University. You will get to meet her in the 10th week. And then Mr. Indika Pereira, he's an attorney at law from, uh, by profession. He's also, um, he has been a long time lecturer at the University of Kalania. He holds a master's um, in post-war recovery studies from York University in UK. And uh, Dr. Lakshika, uh, also from a department of uh, social sciences, a senior lecturer at KDU. She's also the director uh, for, at the Center for Gender Equity and Equality. She holds a PhD from University of Durham, UK, master's from University of Durham, UK, and a bachelor's from University of Peradeniya. You will meet her in the 12th week. So um, uh, I welcome those uh, 
panel of distinguished panel of lecturers and uh, i thank you for joining with us today uh, after that let me go over some uh, course grading fr uh, framework some details i want to highlight the fact that uh, attendance and active participation accounts for 10 percent of the marks and the first assessment will account for 30 percent and the final assessment uh, will account for 60 percent of the marks so uh, participate in the classroom and also make sure uh, you do your assessments well and i will quickly go over some ground rules join the lectures on time once you join the lecture rename yourself according to the registration number provided by the K by kdu as the example given here keep the camera turned on during the lecture and switch off your microphone when you are not speaking do not participate in other activities that will clash with the lectures of this program further in an unavoidable situation inform us of the issue prior to the lecture students who miss more than three lectures will be removed from the course actively participate in the lecture as it will count for 10 percent of your final grade please consider the environment from which you will be joining the lecture and eliminate any possible disturbances do not leave the class early without having received permission from the lecturer in advance ensure you are joining the lecture through a stable internet internet connection to avoid disruptions we have selected a good mix of students from those that apply it took, includes among others young journalists print and mass media personnel law enforcement officers members from other professions such as healthcare engineering banking as well as undergraduate students from universities across the island given the diversity of the students taking part in this course i urge you to consider this an opportunity to learn from others so do not hesitate to participate by sharing your experiences and also by asking questions we have a lot of expectations for you our only focus is not on ensuring that you obtain the required minimum marks instead when you leave we want you to apply what you learn here in your day-to-day -day activities at home at your workplace and in the society in general we also hope you will share the knowledge and practices of nonviolent communication and responsible use of media with your friends and family and spread the knowledge to build a peaceful sri lanka for the future if you have any questions as the program proceeds please feel free to contact me by email which was provided to you finally i wish you all the best to successfully complete the program thank you thank you madam as we're nearing the end of the program it is my pleasure to invite mr nuan herat the head of the department of social sciences faculty of management social sciences and humanities to deliver the vote of thanks Vice Chancellor Major General Melinda Piris, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Professor Sanad Dhammika, Ms. Himali Jinadasa, Country Focal Point for UNESCO Cluster Office for Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, Dr. Priyan Seniviratna, Technical Specialist, UNDP, Deans and Directors, Heads of Departments, Resource Persons uh, of the Certificate Program. Uh, academic and non-academic staff members and dear participants good morning to all of you uh, as the head of the department of social sciences i would like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who played a leading role behind making this certificate program a reality for the second consecutive year i believe it is for the first time a certificate course of this nature 
specially dedicated to the theme of <clears throat> nonviolent communication has been offered in Sri Lankan university system. And I'm sure everyone who took the leadership to design this program would feel very proud at this occasion. First of all, let me thank our Vice Chancellor, Major General Milinda Piris, for giving us confidence and guiding us all the way to conduct this program as planned. Despite his busy schedule at KDU, he has taken such an interest on this program and provided the required guidance whenever we need it. It is indeed due to his visionary leadership that we have been able to deliver many timely programs like this to our society. Thank you very much, sir, for your continuous support and guidance. Secondly, uh, let me thank the United Nations Development Program and European Union for their generous funding and intervention to initiate a project on promoting nonviolent communication and responsible use of media in collaboration with the Department of Social Sciences at KDU. This certificate program that we are witnessing today for the second consecutive time unfolds as one of the main components of this very important initiative. Also, a big thank you to our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandasiri, for extending the relevant administrative assistance to the Department of Social Sciences to organize important event like, events like this. My special appreciation also goes to our Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Professor Sanat Dhammika, all the senior military officers, senior academics and non-academic staff members who helped us to make this event a success. Most importantly, I want to mention the inputs given by experts from the UNESCO Regional Office and United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, UNAOC. The resources that we have shared, that they have shared with respect to nonviolent communication and media and information literacy have helped us a lot to develop the curriculum of this program. I take this opportunity to thank uh, Ms. Maya Lietanin from UNESCO New Delhi office for coordinating the very important international support for us. Today with us, we have Ms. Himali Jinadasa, country focal point for UNESCO, representing its cluster office for Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. We really appreciate her keen interest on our initiative to promote nonviolent communication and taking the time to join this inauguration. We really appreciate your encouraged presence in our project activities, Madam. Further, I must mention uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, Mr. Kitsiri Amartunga, for his leading role in guiding the faculty and its departments towards successful projects like this. Also, when it comes to conducting this certificate course, I express my sincere thanks to Dr. Tamara Jayasundara for her timely coordination with resource persons, students, and our local and international stakeholders. In addition, there are a few key personnel I want to mention here. Dr. Hemanth Premaratna, the overall project coordinator of promoting nonviolent communication initiative, who has done a tremendous job over the last couple of years, in spite of the challenges we faced due to the pandemic situation. Also, a big thank you to Dr. Priyan Seneviratna and his team from UNDP Colombo, our project officers at the Department of Social Sciences, especially Ms. Navya Vijayavikrama and Tirani Vijayavikrama, for their tireless efforts. Without their leading role, I'm sure this program would not have become a reality. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the resource persons and lecturers who will be conducting sessions in this course. And especially I want to mention the expertise shared by Ms. Ramanusha Pubalaratnam and Ms. Vimarshana Ranasinghe right from the beginning of this initiative. And I hope you will continue to work closely with our department in time to come to promote nonviolent communication. Finally, I would like to express my thanks to academic members of the Department of Social Sciences and also in the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities for their assistance. 
And lastly, I really appreciate your keen interest, the participants in applying for this certificate course. And I hope you will be able to get the best out of the resource persons and apply that knowledge in your professional and personal lives. I wish you a great academic experience in the rest of this program. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn off your videos and rise for the national anthem. Sri Lanka Mata Ab Sri Lanka Namo 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 Mata Sundar Siri Barini Surati Ati Sob Mane Lanka With that, we conclude the proceedings of this inauguration ceremony of the second certificate course in nonviolent communication and media. We thank you all for your presence. The first lecture of the course will be conducted online by certified nonviolent communication trainer, Ms. Ramrosha Popula Ratna, and the program will reconvene after a short recess. Please join us again by 9, 10 a.m. for the first lecture. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day. <laughs>